Second violin, La Donna Immobile. This piece is very, very easy, specifically for second violins. Look what you have. Three four, which means three beats per bar, dot, blow the notes, which stands for staccato, which means short, and you repeat that, you're pretty much playing the piano part, playing the accompanying part for the piece. First violins and first violins will play the melody, cello and second will play uh, the harmony, the accompanying part. So speed would be one, two, three, one, two, three, rest, 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 short, short, rest. See? Short, short. All the notes don't play it like because they're a staccato, you would play them out short. Right? And this C is natural. Number one thing that I want you to pay attention to before you start the piece is your time signature, your key signature, and go over the notes. Just look at them and realize what strings the notes are written on. These are all on G string. This one is on D. This one is on D all the way. One open A, first finger on A, back to D and A right so go over the notes go over the articulation don't just randomly start a piece you have to know all these before you can play it and then everything becomes much easier because you already have, have ideas on what the notes are this half circle with a dot in it is called fermata if the dot appeared on its own that would be called a staccato but since there's a circle on top of it that is no longer on its own. It's part of a different sign, which is called fermata. Fermata means that you will hold this note longer than its actual value. Its actual value is three beats. The fermata makes it to be two or three times longer, and it depends on different styles, different composer, different type of music you play. And of course, if you're playing in a group or you have a conductor, you would follow the conductor, would actually um, match everyone's length of playing this piece together so that we are all unified and play it the same. Crescendos, decrescendos, diminuendo is pretty much the same word for decrescendo with a little of a difference. Diminuendo is a little bit more gradual as opposed to crescendo that has to happen a little bit faster. So that's all there is about this piece. Make sure you have high second finger for F sharps, since there is F sharp and C natural, third finger on blue on G string. Have fun practicing.